Welcome back, folks, to Let's Play Neverwinter Nights. When last we left off, we had this area here with, uh, this ogre that seems to be doing something with summoning stones. Well, that Fair aside, enough. let's, uh, get Crumpet and this fire elemental here to not smash these, uh, oh, done huge fire done. elementals. Basically, what I have fighting alongside me will be helping... Fair enough basically the ogre to fight us. And that ogre is a... that's a moderate difficulty ogre. That's better than most ogres. Also, are yes. you going to is there something you need? open that for me? That would be nice if you would. Fair enough. If you could open that, that would be great. Yeah, there's a lot of them. There's a lot of them. If we... oh, the ogre's coming for us. That is handy. That is very handy, because I would not want to fight this ogre with all the others as well. That should make this easier, because that is a sheer amount of health damage that that is uh, having to uh, absorb there. And considering the fact that uh, there are five of them, we would not want to also have to deal with all of that as well. Also, we really, really, really need to use that on me. That is too late. Way too late. Way, way too late. Okay. Use that. It'll actually uh, work for just the. Oh, wow, this is bad. Do we have a. No, we don't. We're just going to have to hit them. <coughs> We're just going to have to hit them and hope that I have enough spells to uh, survive. Which I might not. If we focus on them one at a time, however. Oh! I was about to say, we focus on them one at a time, we should be able to defeat them, but, uh... Oh dear. Fortunately, Sharwin is, uh, doing a fair amount of damage there. Do we have heal? We do have heal. We really need to cast that right now. Marvelous! That's pretty much assured our success here. Heal has most certainly helped. Also, we need to cast a weapon on you. This shouldn't really be that difficult to do. And here we go. That has certainly made you uh, tougher. There we go. They're all dead. And I bet this is locked. Fair enough. Yep, that was locked. Not surprising anyone that that chest is locked. Or that that chest will also be locked. Because they're all locked around here. Every single chest appears done to be and locked. Done. And off you go to unlock that one. Ooh, an amulet. Probably an amulet of natural armor. Probably not a particularly good one either. I mean, we're already using a plus three. We basically need a plus four to make uh, switching over worth it. We need to rest. We need to rest. We need to summon another companion. And we need to basically head over to the other side. Because there's not any real way for us to progress on this side at all. No real way for us to progress. Also, do we really want another fire elemental? I mean, it was quite useful, but I imagine a water elemental. That's an air elemental. Still never impressed with us summoning an air elemental, but there you go. Let's see what that last little area up there has, and then we'll go and uh, have a look everywhere else. What has this area got? This area has spiders. For some reason, this area has spiders. Not quite sure why this area has dire spiders, but uh, it does. There we go. Pass. Just, just genuinely pass as to why this area has dire spiders and nothing else. Literally nothing else at all. Oh well. I suppose they're four orcs worth of experience apiece. And we are slowly getting towards uh, the level we need, although we are a fair bit of experience off, like 2,500. I'm not sure if we'll get there. Also, the music just likes disappearing in this area. It's like, here's some music. Oh, wait, no, music's gone now. Music is gone. I think the other areas seem to do better when it comes to the music. It's just this zone here. Just completely music void. Completely music void. Right. Let us go and uh, head down here. And from down here, we'll go to the other area, the east area. We're definitely going to need some form of uh, armor, however, some stone skin when we uh, head into the next area. 
mainly because of the sheer amount of fire elementals and fire giants. The fire giants really hurt. But I imagine the traps are going to hurt a lot more as we move on here. And in we go. More of the fire giant lair, and I imagine this area is uh, probably full of traps and fire giants. But that's okay. I'm sure we'll be alright. At least I hope we'll be alright. There's a door to the right. I'm going to ignore that for now and head down this corridor. There apparently is... Oh, hello, hellhounds! A lot of hellhounds! Fortunately, you guys are going to deal no damage to me at all, because I have that ring. Your breath weapon is kind of ineffectual. In general, you're kind of ineffectual. Was it two experience per one? Yep, you guys are worth orcs amounts of experience. And you have no loot. Oh no, loot. That one had gold. This one had gold, and that they all had three gold each. All of them had three gold each. Maybe that was their wages. Who knows? Well, here's the door. And there are trolls. Trolls, unfortunately, are not going to have a particularly decent time against us. Mainly because they're trolls, and trolls are not a challenge anymore. Not to us. There are a fair few locked treasure chests here. I'm just presuming they're locked at this point. They're probably not. Well, actually, no, wait, they probably are locked. Because this place seems to like locked chests. Ow. They're not locked! Which is surprising, but they are trapped. How badly trapped, we're about to see. 105 damage that elemental just took. 105 damage. Can I rest over here? Yep, because if there are any fights coming up, I really, really, really don't want to have to uh, fight them like this. That is apparently a deep cave. I wonder if that deep cave is going to have some form of really old and powerful red dragon in it that I really don't want to fight right now. Oh, water elemental. That is much better. Like to see water elementals here. You can have that. You can have this. You can have this. And I will have this. There we go. Marvelous! I think we're ready for whatever the game is going to throw at us, and I hope the game's not going to throw anything nasty at us. That would not be any good. Who remains? A potion! Excellent. Let's move on. Let's move on and uh, see what's down here. Okay, there's a hellhound Your and... Oh! King Scrog himself! Nice. The fire giant king looks neither royal nor wise, but rather resembles a cruel and stupid bully. Hello! We ain't gonna fight you, and we're probably gonna kill you. Purely because... We have stone skin. He certainly fights uh, with some strength. I mean, that is a halberd. Of course, that water elemental is not doing a particularly great job of dealing with uh, that fire elemental. But it's slowly dying. Oh, Scrog is injured. Scrog is indeed injured. We have a lot of uh, stone skin remaining. I'm pretty confident we can defeat Scrog here. Hopefully he's going to have some really nice loot. I hope so, anyway. I almost get the feeling that that uh, water elemental wouldn't have won if it weren't for the uh, stone skin. And now Scrog is in severe trouble. Yep, pretty much doomed. Yep, and dead. And only 342 experience for that. Although we are just shy of 2,000. Pass amulet? Get the feeling that's going to get us into somewhere we're not meant to be. And a ritual book. This tome details the process of capturing a dragon's essence within a dragon sphere. The ritual is most effective when used upon a newly hatched worm whose growth has been accelerated using spells and enchantments. The beast whose mind is still empty and pure. Only these have the vitality and energy of youth necessary to prolong the life of the mighty Clouth. Oh, so they're trying to prolong his life. 
The creature to be absorbed must be lured or trapped within the center of the ritual room, and the dragon sphere must be placed upon the pedestal. A dragon's body will be instantly consumed, even if its very life force is sucked into the sphere itself for Klauf to feed on at his leisure. But a warning, lest you displease the master and suffer his terrible wrath, should the dead, should a dead dragon's body be absorbed, the sphere must be destroyed immediately. If it is mistakenly presented to Klauf, he may devour the essence of a dead worm, poisoning him and dealing his awesome might a crippling blow. There is our way to deal with Klauf. The game has now provided us with a weakness. That weakness being the fact that we could feed it the essence of a dead dragon and cripple his strength. Because otherwise a worm, an ancient worm, if it's trying to prolong its life, yeah, we, we're not going to do very well against an ancient worm. We're just not going to do very well at all. Now, I'm going to summon the, uh, I'm going to actually summon the uh, stone skin here, the amazing stone skin spell, because when I'm opening chests, they all tend to be locked and trapped, and the trap tends to deal, yeah, the trap tends to deal damage to me. At least this way, we can get a little less damage dealt to me, and I can uh, take longer gaps between my rests, because uh don't want to end up in a situation where, oh, there you go, there's another one. There's some armor. Any more uh, treasure chests? Nope, would seem not right now. We're okay. Alright, what have we got? Ow. Ow. There's a lot of damage that I wouldn't have avoided if I didn't have this uh, stone skin on. There's another one, which is a poison trap. Ow. Ow. I'm gonna use heal now. That really hurt. What else have we got? Ow. Okay, uh, really, really doesn't like us opening these treasure chests that don't really have a lot of stuff in them. But ouch, do they hurt to open. Ouch indeed. Also, we have various magic items that we're going to have to, uh, identify as we go on, but uh, yeah, I think I'm going to use that stone skin spell again. Because I get the feeling I'm going to open this one and it's going to hurt. Yeah, 63 more points of damage. That really hurts. We're going to use some more healing spells. There we go. And then we're going to summon hopefully not a fire elemental, but I'll settle for an air elemental. Definitely settle for an air elemental. We shall uh, get uh, protective spells on all of us, because I don't see any treasure chests nearby that can destroy our defenses. There is a way to uh, Cloud's Lair. Oh, that's Cloud's Lair. Okay, so the deep cave does not lead to Cloud's Lair. That leads to somewhere else. All right, that's fine. So maybe the deep cave is where the worms are. Do we need to kill one of the worms? That would be sad. That would be sad. Hello, Your trolls. End. Okay, green slots, grey slots. Grey slots are bad. Grey slots are really bad. They're already summoning red slots. We need to deal with those red slots now. Red slots need to die now, and then the grey slots. Grey slots cast spells. Grey slots are really, really nasty. Red slots are just really, really strong. And I don't want them to keep casting lots of spells. With the summoned red slards defeated, we should then be able to deal with the uh, green slard first. Which is the... Um, they lust after magical power and pursue raid artifacts, and the grey slards make items of dire magic to further their own power. They also like turning invisible. Fortunately, we have uh, a lot of health. A lot of health, and they are turning... Basically, they're really not doing very well here. They could have fought this a lot better than they did. Could have fought that much better than they did, but uh, they kind of messed that up. Also have some slard tongues, because slard tongues come with every single slard. What else do we have here? Another door. Not locked. Not trapped. And there is nothing here. 
and another deep cave. There are just lots of caves here. So pick which one you want to go down. Do you want to go down one, the other, or the other? Well, we aren't going to see Clouth yet. I mean, if we can't use the uh, orb on the Wormling, we can use them on the Brass Dragon? The Brass Dragon, after all, is dead. It must be there for a reason. Or maybe it's there just to show that it's dead. Here's the sl- Oh, no. This is called a Slard Cavern. Why do I want to go in here? Why have I picked going down here? This place sounds awful! Alright. We're here in the- Oh, no! A Death Slard Lord. Creatures of Chaos. Death Slards. Yeah. Creatures of Chaos. Death Slards, the rulers of their frog-like kind. Aside from their considerable magical power, they are also gifted fighters. Suddenly, here is a Death Slard Lord. And I am not at all happy to see a Death Slard Lord. Also, I'm not happy about the fact that uh, none of our friends have decided to come along. Um, could you help us, please? Thank you! That'd be nice. Shall we? <laughs> we really need to find our way through this. We really need to find our way through this. There we go. There we go, it's one down. And that should be, uh, yep. We do not, ow! We, however, do not want to, uh, get the, uh, the Lord yet. There. <laughs> Prepare to be Oh, no. We have, uh, unfortunately caught the attention of the, uh, Death Slard Lord. We're gonna have to go in and defeat it. Oh! Oh, ouch! Did you see that trap? It just basically killed Sharwin. That was awful. That was awful. Also, fortunately, loading up here has managed to get all of my companions into Your one uh, easy location, which means it's easier for us to actually fight these. <sighs> That was a lot of damage that we just got dealt. We'll get the Death Slard Lord. Fortunately, we managed to get one of the uh, the Green Slard very quickly. Very quickly. Ha! You're already casting spells. Have you seen that you're already casting spells? And summoning Red Slards? If you could not summon Red Slards... You can't open the door. Oh, you opened the door! That is actually really, really handy. That is really useful. Opening the door has really helped us there. Unfortunately, opening the door has also meant that we now have to fight the uh, the Death Slard. And I'm not sure we're ready to fight the Death Slard. However, we're going to have to try. You're here. We have to fight you. Hopefully, we'll be able to defeat you. They are really, really difficult. They're also really good at casting spells. Really good at casting spells. Fortunately, we're going to use the fact that they're really good at casting spells against it and fight it as it's trying to cast spells. And it keeps failing. Oh, this was particularly simple. And I am very glad that was particularly simple. You drop loot. Another ritual book. Well, we have now uh, multiple books that will tell us exactly the same thing. And a one treasure chest. Who wants to bet this is horribly locked? Oh, it wasn't ridiculously badly locked. Is there anything in here apart from that Death Slard Lord? You know what? I don't even think there is. Yep, that was it. Just the Death Slard Lord. Death Slards are nasty. They are very, very nasty, and I'm very glad that I only took a few attempts, because that could have been much worse. There's literally nothing else here. There is literally nothing else here. There are a few bags of remains that probably just have slard tongues in them, which is fair enough. We now have a lot of slard tongues. But when we come back, folks, we shall head up and go into the other deep cave that hopefully won't have more slards in it. One of these is going to have to have, um, 
It's going to need uh, to have these worms that the Yanti are experimenting on. After all, we are going to need to have to uh, basically get one of these Dragon Spheres and fill it with the equivalent of poison for Clouth. So that we can cripple its strength, because otherwise it's going to be nigh on invincible. Nigh on invincible. So, we're going to head back up here, which slowly involves navigating these stairs, which are really hard to path around, apparently. So, I'll catch you next time, folks, and I'll see you then. We're going to go up here next, and down there, into this deep cave. So, oh, uh, first, we're going to have a bit of a fight. And I kind of need the help of my companions here. Um, your pathing leaves a lot to be desired here. Come on. Need your help. Because we have a, uh, champion here that needs defeating. Yep, just, uh, found a fight just before I was about to end the video. Sometimes it happens. Sometimes it happens. Oh, you're healing. You're in trouble. Fortunately, you're going to be a significant chunk of experience. A couple of hundred. Which will be very nice. And... Are you dead yet? Are you dead yet, sir? Really? There you go. You actually were worth almost... You are worth more experience, I think, than uh, King Scrog. That says something about how powerful Scrog was. If you were worth more experience than Scrog. So... We'll rest again, and uh, when we come back, folks, we shall continue exploring this area. We may get just enough experience to get to uh, level 15, I think. Just enough experience. Just enough. So, I shall catch you next time, folks. And I'll see you then. Later. Look at all this lava probably really hot in that armor sock, and you probably really should cast in your elements. It'll help at least a little, but only a little.